Let me, on behalf of the Senate and National Assembly, I think I can speak, reassure you that as a Senate, our responsibilities here, which we have sworn to, is to always uphold the Constitution and ensure that the rights of all Nigerians are respected in line with the Constitution. But having said that, let me also appeal to all of us as leaders that we must continue to seek to find solutions to problems. Sometimes how difficult it might be, how disturbing it might be. My eagerness to receive you today is part of the fact to try and see what the issues are and ensure that we can find solutions. But I think at the same time as leaders, it's important that we always try to give a background to some of these issues. Um, anybody listening to your brief might jump to the conclusion that some of these policies were done, particularly uh, with one desired not. But you remember in 2010, the former administration came up with reforms. How do we reduce the number of subjects at the basic education level, where there were about 20 subjects at that time, and subsequently reduced to 12? In the process of implementing that reform, we have this problem. What I'm saying that is that, so we don't live here to believe that it was done to try and bring one study of one religion. Now, the reform clearly is not working. Clearly, there is a problem with the reform. But it is the reform that led us to where we are, not a, a discrimination that led us to where we are. And I think it's important because um, a lot of people are here listening. We have the media. Sometimes they're not the best people to report because they try and sell their papers. And what they will say tomorrow is not what the issues And I think it's important that Clearly, the reform is not working because I'm sure I don't hold for for Jonathan administration, but I'm sure President Jonathan will not, when they were doing the reform, did not expect this. But clearly, it's not working. So our responsibility is to look into that reform and make it work. But I think it's clear we live here not to think that it was done to try to bring one religion behind. But, but in practicality, what you are saying is that it had disadvantage one religion against the other. And that is not the spirit of what it should be. And my commitment to you is that we would refer it to, to uh, the Committee on Education to look at it. Look at the reform. Why isn't it working? And if it's not working, then some of your prayers definitely work. The principle that we will abide is that we must respect the Constitution. But it's important that we put that background so that you know, people do not live here. It's because, as you know, we're in a very, very uh, tens times are in the country and it, it just takes uh, very little misinterpretation that, uh, that and I think that's important I wanted to to say that I want to assure you that um, we will look at it uh, we will see whether there is value why, why can we go back to what it was before uh, if there were reasons why we wanted to reduce it for administration for that but looking at what we are seeing now Maybe it's not working and we should, we should look. But I want to assure you that uh, this Senate National Assembly, even this government, will not be part of any action like that that will try and, and discriminate against any religion. And, and also when we talk about kidnapping as well, even just today we're saying that the kidnapping on the Kanu Abuja axis has gone so high up. And I think the kidnapping is such a problem in the country today. I, I, I do not believe that uh, kidnapping uh, particularly is targeted towards one religion or not. Maybe I'm an optimist and, and I believe so much in this, but I believe yet again that what we need to do is solve that problem on the issue of trying to see how we can improve the security of the country by and large. But let me once again um, 
welcome you and reassure you that the uh, committees will look into it and and with, with and also with the with the advice of a lot of education stakeholders who can advise us how best how best can we uh, uh, be able to 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 resolve these issues and and from my own experience in in, 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 in administration and I always advise that sometimes the the policy makers and those that implement policies are so 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 different and the conclusion we sometimes make is that when the people implement message of we sometimes think that it was the intention of the policy maker to make sure that was the final result but in reality it's not that and i think as leaders we need to be able to separate that because there is no uh, it, i think it's fair if the policy implementators get it wrong we can correct that but i think where the danger is is if the policy ab initio had a hidden agenda that is not in, and that is where it's wrong so and, and i think we must all make sure that that does not happen and, uh, and I can assure you that we'll look into that. So once again, let me thank you for bringing these issues uh, to, uh, to our attention. And I'm sure that we'll look into it. Once again, I thank you for, for coming. And, uh, and, uh, and please convey our best wishes to the president. And, uh, and we hope that we'll be able to uh, revert back to you. And for my friends in the media, try and ensure you make accurate reporting. All right, thank you so much. Thank you very much.